Hey everyone, so I wanted to do a video about breeding and raising Lady Goldian Finches. Um, obviously it's pretty in-depth and there's a lot to learn about it if you're just starting out, so I'm not going to be able to cover everything in this one video, but I can give you a pretty good um, synopsis about what you're going to want to do to start off and how to proceed once you get started. So to start out, you obviously want to have a male and female bird unrelated pair. The good thing is with Goldians is that they are dimorphic, so you can tell by looking at them usually what gender they are once they're past a certain age. So for this pair, you can see the male bird on the lower perch and the female on the top. Her colors, which is obviously difficult to appreciate on video with this kind of uh, video, but she's duller in color. The purple of the breast is duller and she's also smaller and more petite in stature. He's much bigger and his colors pop and they're very bright. So it's easy to tell who's the male and who's the female, especially in regards to this pair. For the yellow back type pairs, it's the same thing. The females are more dull in nature, uh, or in color rather, than the males are and usually smaller. Uh, that's the male there and you can see he's much more vibrantly colored down in the bottom. In this cage here, we have two pairs of Goldians. Typically, they don't breed well uh, with two pairs in a cage or uh, that kind of thing. But these two pairs have worked it out quite nicely. They get along very, very well and they breed very, very nicely in this cage. I think the cage is large enough to accommodate them, but I wouldn't set yourself up like that. I think to set yourself up for true success, you'd want to go with something more like this. This cage is 30 by 18 by 18. It's a standard finch flight cage. Uh, I believe it's made by Preview, the Preview company. Uh, it's sold through Petco. Any kind of chain store in the U.S. probably has this kind of cage. So my minimum standard, 13 by 18 by 18. This particular cage has the nest box door, which is great. Goldians do prefer, typically prefer, a nest box. It's up to you whether you hang it on the outside of the cage or the inside of the cage. Hanging on the outside of the cage has benefits uh, such as being able to check the nest, if you were going to candle the eggs or remove the chicks to foster them out if the parents were to abandon them. Unfortunately, Goldians are not always the best parents and it takes them a long time to be trusted as parents. If you have a pair, let me start off also mention that you should not attempt to breed birds that are less than 12 months old and never ever attempt to breed birds that have not gotten their adult plumage yet. Young Goldians are very dull and washed out in color, and until they go through their first molt, around six months of age, uh, they don't have the beautiful bright plumage that they're known for. Um, so once your birds are around 10 to 12 months old, you can kind of start pairing them up. Um, and then, you know, once they're 12 months of age or older, they start to get in their breeding condition, you can go ahead and uh, set them up in their breeding cages and potentially introduce their ne nesting boxes. This pair does prefer the wicker nest here. And that's fine. A lot of people report success using both the nest boxes and the wicker nest. But the downside to the wicker nest is that uh, you can't check on the eggs, you can't check on the chicks, and so you're kind of putting all your faith in the parents to make it work. Uh, and they don't always do that. With that being said, uh, you know, if the Goldians were to abandon their chicks, the best bet would be to foster them out under another pair of Goldians or potentially a foster species like Society Finches, uh, which I can't go into that now because, I mean, that's like a whole video in itself. So um, we have our male and female bird. They're unrelated. We've set them up in their cage. We have not provided a nest yet at this point. Uh, you're watching for them to uh, be interested in each other. The male will probably start singing to the female right away. The female may or may not show interest. Now, once the female starts to show reception to the male, at that point, you can go ahead and put in your nest of your choice. Now, I don't believe a Goldian would use like a cup, an open nest, like a canary would use, but I do think that it's a safe bet to try either the wicker bamboo nest, like you see here, or the nesting box that you can see here. They do like a lot of privacy, so you can't hover over the cage, you can't be cleaning the cage paper every day. Obviously, you want them to be as clean and hygienic as possible, but it needs to be within reason because they really cannot handle being disturbed. Like I said, be very careful if you are going to check the nesting box because you are taking a risk. They may abandon the eggs, they may abandon the chicks, but you won't know until you try. 
Uh, this pair right here is extremely sensitive. I cannot check their nests. Um, these birds here, they have uh, raised clutches in these outside boxes, and I have checked those, and they didn't seem to mind. But they did uh, decide that they like these inside boxes better. So you can see one pair kind of sticking out of the box there. This other pair is inside. Can't Oh, you can see the male a little bit there. He kind of poked his head out. Um, so like I said, these two pairs do get along very well, but that's not the norm. I did invest in the full spectrum lighting for birds. It's not as expensive as you think. It's a really good investment for your birds. Set your lights on a timer. Breeding birds, breeding goldians, you're looking at about 13 hours a day of light. Uh, set your timers. You don't have to worry about it. It's a very, very easy thing. Now, prior to setting your birds up to breeding, and I should have mentioned this before, prior to setting your birds up to breeding, they need to be conditioned. So you want to provide rich, really beautiful, great food for them, hard-boiled eggs, grated carrots, kale, and most importantly, uh, egg food or egg meal. Now, this is my favorite egg meal. <clears throat> I would really encourage you all to try this if you're into Goldian's. Uh, I ordered mine from LadyGoldianFinch.com, a fabulous website. I use them all the time to order stuff. Um, the egg meal, you can see some of the ingredients here, very nutritious, very beneficial. And the great part is that it contains stuff that they wouldn't normally eat anyway, um, as well as some high protein contents, the dried egg yolk and the spirulina, which is excellent for them. Um, <clears throat> now, the great thing about the egg meal is you can mix it in to your hard boiled eggs, your kale, your grated carrots, and it will really dry up all that moisture in that uh, food. Uh, Goldians don't like really wet food. They're native to the desert. Uh, I think they remember kind of what they're supposed to be eating, and it just doesn't seem right to them to eat things that are really wet and, and goopy, like fruits and vegetables. Um, but don't give up. Keep trying. Keep offering your soft foods. Like I said, grated carrots, hard-boiled eggs with the shell on to give the hens opportunity to ingest that eggshell for calcium. Um, kale uh, is excellent as well. Uh, any kind of greens, dandelions, um, is really, really wonderful for them. Conditioning your birds prior to breeding, you want to offer these soft foods three to four times a week. Once your pair has chicks in the nest, you want to offer this soft food every day, potentially even several times a day. Um, like I said, don't give up because it will take a while. Goldians are known for being notoriously picky, but if you stick at it, they will eventually eat that great food you make them, and they'll in turn feed that food to their chicks, and it will improve the quality of your birds. The male and the female will incubate the eggs for about 14 days, give or take. They don't read the book, so each pair can be different. The chicks will then hatch out, and the parents will start to care for them. Now, the chicks do uh, have a residual yolk sac, which they will obtain nourishment from for the first few hours of their life, potentially the first 12 to 18 hours. And then after that, the parents need to provide them with everything that they need. Um... You can hear them in here. You can hear the little babies in there. You know, and the, these pairs I really do trust. I have the inside hang nest boxes. I don't check on them. It would be more of a nuisance. I'd be doing them more of a disservice than a favor. Um, but I do trust these pairs more. I do have some society finches that are ready to go to foster. Like I said, that's a whole nother, uh, whole nother topic to get into uh, in regards to fostering, foster, you know, fostering the Goldians out. Um, <clears throat> I will make more videos. Uh, I hope this was informative and helpful. Like I said, a very rough overview of some basic stuff. There's a lot more to learn, a lot more to kind of uh, educate yourself about besides what I talked about. Um, but, you know, don't, don't forget the basics. Keep everything nice and clean. Keep it tidy. Wash out your water dishes. Don't let any slime or residue build up in there. Um, and be as clean as possible without disturbing the birds too much. It's a hard balance, um, but you will figure it out. And just watch your birds and watch them for signs of stress. You know, sometimes when I'm in this room, um, I just look around and I say to myself, I need to step out because I'll be stressing them out. I'll be sweeping the floor or I'll be dusting and um, it just gets to be too much for them. And I, you know, kind of look at them and I say, all right, you know, <laughs> I'll give you a break for my presence because when they're breeding, uh, they really just want to be left alone. So it's really hard because you're excited and you want to see and all that, but you have to give them their space and you'll be rewarded for that. All right, I hope this was informative to you all, and if there's anything you want me to talk about specifically, please let me know. All right, thanks guys.